Okay, I'm going to play with my lathe some more today. So it's been sitting for most of the week here, like I had it, except I had this big bar right here. This 8 foot thick wall bar here, which weighs about 60 pounds or so. It was hanging off the back of the lathe here. So it was jammed up under here, so it was hanging out with a big lever. Putting load on the lathe, trying to square it up. So right now, this used to rock on the two feet. And right now it's not rocking on the two feet anymore. It's a little bit, but not much like it was. So hopefully that means it's straightened itself out a little bit. So I'm going to spend some time here and kind of figure out where we're at. And uh, what I'm going to play with, I'm going to... This lathe is bolted to the table here, right here. So if I undo these two bolts, I can square the back of the lathe separate from the front of the lathe. So I'm going to go ahead and level out the front of this lathe here, and then I'll come back here and level it back, and then hopefully that'll take the twist out of it, and go from there. So right now I don't know what it's at, because I haven't looked at it since last week. First thing I do is figure out what's going on level-wise. It's pretty close. high over there, so that corner's high, which is how it was before. So that's good. So that side over there has got a big gap underneath the post. Adjustment screw. So on this lathe here we got the concrete floor, which has a three degree angle this way for drainage. It's got these big rubber biscuits here, steel plate, steel adjuster screw, steel framework holding it up. So that's four corners are like that. So right now this one and the other one over there in the back corner there have all the weight on it. Caddy corner because it's got a twist in it. So, so we're going to try to level out the two bolts over here for side to side. And then I'm going to see what I can do about twisting. So. We'll see. So, I'm going to probably spend a lot of time dealing with this, so I'll do a quick video here to show what we're doing right now, and then we'll come back later after I get most of it done, because it might take me two or three hours of dicking around here to get it to work well, how I want it. Because right now I'm not too happy with it. Okay, let's see what our side to side is. Front to back is pretty close. side to side this way. It's high on that back corner still. Alright. <laughs> Pretty sure these screw jack bolts are kind of already screwed up, but anyway. Right now it is what it is. So pretty much it's about how it was when I left it. So it doesn't look like it's that much different. Okay, so let's go see what the back of the lathe is like compared to the front. A little bit high and very rare. Forward a little bit. I think it doesn't really fit on this side of the lathe very well over there. So that side's high there. This one's high on this side. So I'm going to just twist it like this, which is how it was. That's why I get all the pressure on that back bolt like that, trying to pack it to that corner, but it doesn't work. So it doesn't look like sitting has done any different. All the same stuff we were doing before, it's still doing it. Let's put our place over here. And see what our level looks like. And it's pretty much the same as the other side on that. So the whole lathe is leaning toward me slightly, but 
All right, I'm not seeing much of a difference, so I'm going to go ahead and play around the jack bolts, and I'll come back and show you what I did. Okay, so I got this leveled out pretty good now. So this corner is the worst one. It's pretty close. This one here. Pretty good. I got equal weight on those two pads over there. These ones here are semi-close. The lathe is not rocking anymore when you go like this. It's pretty pretty good. And then the side to side over here is good. So that's pretty close. And these are level also. So we got level, level, level. That's the worst corner, but it's pretty close. It's barely, barely out. So now I can do see what my side to side back here is. And whatever that air is is what we're gonna to have to deal with. I'm not jacking the screws no more. So and this is looking pretty good also. Yeah, that's pretty close. That's pretty damn nice. It's one line out on the bubble. And that back corner has to go up a little bit. So what's that going to do on my other stuff when I do that? And we're low on this too. So, so that back corner needs to go up just a skosh in the back. Theoretically, that should level it out. So we'll go down over here to our jack bolt lamp under there. That one right there. Ooh, about that much, which wasn't much. Maybe an inch from the wrench. Ah. Oh, okay, that is didn't really affect it very much. Let's see what I did over here. Okay, we're still pretty good. Slightly low on that corner. Let me do that again. Ugh. Ugh. Up a little bit. Another inch. All right. Ugh. All right. We're starting to make a change now. I don't know what else you see better, maybe. Okay, that's even there. Looks like it got worse, not better. That's kind of weird. Hmm. Kind of went the opposite direction. Things are flexing. Let's see what we did on this side. So it looks good. Showing a little bit low in that corner now. I'm starting to jack stuff and do weird things. This was closer before I jacked on that bolt back there. It's kind of doing the opposite what I wanted to do. Uh, it's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, that ain't working very well. Okay, I'll put this over here. Look at me. Look what I'm doing.
another inch. Okay. Let's see if it keeps going the wrong way or is it getting better? All right, that brought that a little bit too much that way. Can live with that. That one's split the other way. That's good. A little bit toward that side. A little bit high. And this one over here. Didn't make any bit of difference at all in that corner. Weird. Okay, so it's not really getting any better. Definitely putting more weight on that corner when I'm doing that though, which I don't like. And let's see what we did our side to side. I bet you kicked this out of whack. Yep. Yeah, it didn't help that any at all. So we're trying to lift that corner. It's not helping. <clears throat> it seems like it's getting worse. That means we're inducing some kind of a flux, which we don't want. Kick uh, that back and lift that more. So it took about half of that out that I just put in there. Ah. Okay, that leveled that out. And what did it do for these other dimensions? If what you're doing isn't working and you think it's you're doing the right thing and it's not then you went the wrong way and see that got better even though I took the opposite of what it should have been doing it got better not a lot better but better and what are we doing over here pretty well centered on that that's good And this one. Just about dead nuts, same as the back. And this one over here, which is hard to get on because it's so narrow. It's the least amount of rocking is right there. That's on center. All right, so I think this is the spot. To be on. Pretty close. All right. Lots of dicking around for two days. Um, what you think is going to make it work doesn't. And what does work works. And basically, we got the lathe equalized on rock. It's not moving around. So I'm good with that. Okay, so now I gotta put this thing, this test bar in here and see what my center has changed on me over here. All right, let me get that set up, we'll be back. Okay, I'm trying to get my testing bar centered up pretty good here. I know this bar is within two tenths of the bow the whole length. So, before we're getting foul and three quarter movement, we're not getting that much now. So down here, we got three or four, three tenths movement maybe. There. So that is just under 60 there. We get all the way down to here. About the same. So that means our taper is not there anymore. But we do have this out around up here. We do have this. So that tells me this truck is out of whack. Or these jaws are out of whack. These jaws probably. So this is the hopeless fire. So this is our high spot. Number one is high. Low spot is number zero. 
here. So zero is low and one is high. Take this out. I'm going to turn this 180, put it back in, and see if that repeats. If it repeats, then I know the chuck is off. If it doesn't repeat, then I know the jaws are screwed up, and it is what it is. So, that is always the fun part trying to figure out what the hell your problems are. Okay. First thing I do, I'm going to mark it. So where is my phone number we on here? Two. And there's one. That's high. Zero. Sweet spot there. Back in here. Big difference. This is not a lot of two, so you can squirt this back up. I'll be back. Okay, I found the bolts. So both of those are there. So up in here, whoa, there's nothing here except dirt. And over there, I looked in there, it's hard to see, but anyway, there's nothing on that side. So where the bolts are at are over here. Way right back under there is one, and the other one's further back over there. So we come in out with the breaker bar here, hopefully, if this is long enough. I have to get a longer extension. Yep, that should work. Okay, we're going to check the torque on those. And we'll check the torque on these. Those are already pretty tight from the L, the L wrench, but we'll try it with the breaker bar. And see if anything looks like it might be loose. Alright, I'll play this a little bit, I'll be back. <laughs> 